tally ho everybody and welcome to AEB Games. This is Adam speaking and I'm going to do a tutorial on how to AI your Robot Arena 2 competitors. This is if you want to enter banter wars or if you simply want to AI your robot. Now we're not going to waste time. I'm going to say first that I hope you've downloaded Robot Arena 2 version 1.4. If you haven't, I'll give you a link in the description below and we will get straight to going into the game and exporting our robot. I assume you'll have already created a robot and you want to learn how to AI it. So we'll go into our game now and wait for it to load up, hopefully without it crashing, because that tends to be quite a regular thing. And we're in here, Team HQ. Now where did I build that robot? I think it was in this one. Yep, yeah, that's the one. So I started building another robot. Let's just call it... Uh, Duncan Toucan. Right, so you have your robot. And I've forgotten to do all these buttons here. So let's just do that quickly now. This is one of the things you've got to do. I'm assuming you can see my mouse. But the control name for the forward and reverse ones. I'm assuming you know how to uh, wire the robots at this stage. If not, go back to my tutorial video. I'll put, I'll put a link to that one as well. But so you need a one with a positive axis up and negative axis down down arrow key and you need to name that one forward you also need to do left and right and this one you call left right capitalize the l and the r but don't put a space between left and right so it's all one word but the l and the r are capitalized and that's that bit done remember as you're going through this as i explained in my tutorial to always go back to hq and go back in because if the game crashes which is likely to do at times you don't want to lose all your progress. So we've got our forward. I should have done all this foot before, really, but here we go. Quickly wire it all up so it all works. And what we'll try to do as well is show you how to do the weaponry. So it works like that, but we also need to control the weaponry. Not only that, but we need to make sure that the AI knows how to control the weaponry too. Now I've got axe weapons on Duncan. For the control name, I've put space bar as the uh, on and off button, but like with the directions, you can put any button you want. You put fire, capital F, fire. If you had a flipper, you would put flip. But for now we'll put fire. If you wanted a spinning disc or a saw blade, what I usually do is I'd obviously have the weapon there. Now take the switch, uh, the switch button down, and put spin. Now we haven't got a saw blade or or anything like that, but we've got this. No, that's the wrong one. So fire and fire. So now we have working weapons. Excellent, wonderful stuff. Now before we export the box. There's something we should do. And if you've downloaded the correct game, you'll find that on the power part here, if you go to the right, you've got this. Basic smart zone, small, medium, large. Now, if I take the medium one and press attach, you'll notice that nothing seems to hover over the robot. But, uh, where's the front of the robot? There it is. Zoom out a bit. If I hover my mouse here and click, you'll find that a green box appears. Now just testing my weapons. That's like a pretty good distance. So we'll do it on the other side as well. Now these are the parts that tell your AI when and where to hit the weapons. So now if we click on these green boxes, this bit will come up. Basic smart zone. Enter a name for this zone. Now if this was a flipper, you'd write flipper without a capital F, and this box is always without capitalising letters. But we don't have a flipper, and you don't have to do this for saws and spinning discs either, because they're automatic, they go all the time. They don't really need the smart zones. But since we've got axes, we shall just put weapon. And this is the same for spikes, or other weapons like that, that aren't flippers or spinners. So we just write weapon in there. And we do that for both boxes. There we go. 
Now, what that means is, once you've exported this bot, the game will know when to hit the weapon. So, back to HQ. Oh, we haven't taken a picture. Let's take a picture. Uh, that'll do. Just so we know what we're looking for. So, Duncan Toucan is there. We'll select the robot, but instead of going back into it, if we come down here, there's a little button that says Export Bot. So, click that. There it is. Export Robot Design. OK. And then that box disappears. You'll notice then, if you come out to the main menu and press quit, you're in your robot arena game bit here, so go back to here, there's your game, click there and you've got all these lists. If you go to robot designs, ignore all these, where is it? Here, Duncan Toucan. The bot is now in the robot designs folder. Now, if you're entering uh, Bands Wars, that's all you need to do apart from send it to me. You can send me that file and I'll have your robot and I'll do the AI for you. But if you want to do the AI yourself, then there's a pretty simple way to do that as well. You come out of there and you go to AI. Well, this, this is how I do it anyway. This is how I like to do it. You go to bindings, which is in your AI folder. Go down, bindings.py. This is where all your AI lines are. So I've got quite a lot of robots here. And I know that I want to take out one down near the bottom here. You can just put it anywhere you want. But usually it's only the, the top three of each team, like Happy Bees, number 29. It's only the top three that usually appear within the game. Usually. Uh, on this version. So, if we come down here. I don't need tutorial channel in this pack. This one here. And if you count down, downwards from here, they'll be named bot 0, hold on, bot 0, bot 1, bot 2, bot 3, bot 4, bot 5. Now the one we're trying to replace is bot 0, tutorial channel. Let's go back here a sec. This is uh, team number 31. So in the AI folder, down here, team 31. Here we go, bot 0, bot 1, bot 2, bot 3, bot 4, bot 5. Ignore these ones with dot other. I'm, that's just me saving my robots. Um, so bot 0 is tutorial channel. And that's what the file's called, bot 0.bot. So let's just keep that in mind and go back to our thing. Go back into the game. Wait for it to load up as you usually do. Come on, do little loop. Mm. I do like coffee. Go back into Team HQ and let's find our robot again. Where is it? It's not there. It's not there. Excuse me while I chastise myself for forgetting where I put my robot. There it is, Duncan Toucan. This time we click export bot again, but we remember that it was bot zero that we wanted to replace. Tutorial channels bot zero, so bot zero is the new file name that you put and you have to do this uh, from my own experience click OK and that will export and quit out of the game go back to robot designs and bot 0 is Duncan Toucan so you copy that one go back out to AI go back down to team 31 down here Get rid of bot zero or copy it somewhere. I've got plenty of copies of tutorial channel, so I can just delete it. And paste the new bot zero in. So that means now I've got Duncan took in that space. But don't think that's it now. We've got to go back to this AI line and correct the AI line. So tutorial, to, you, you've got to get the names right, else the games crash. So Dun uh, Duncan Toucan. Now remember, this is only the most basic AI um, alteration. Omni means you can have sort of multiple weapons doing different things. So that's perfectly acceptable for the axe weapon we want. If Duncan Toucan was a flipper, you'd put flipper. And hopefully you'll have uh, put all the right smart zones in there and it would work. But we'll have Omni in there for now. You can have, well, if you just look through the list, you can, all, you can see what things are. Omni, Omni, Omni. 
uh, Flipper, Omni Omni, they all seem to be the same at the moment, don't they? Uh, Pusher. You also have Poker. That's a weird one. You'd have to go ask Matty Tor about that one, Gale Force X. But you get the gist. And usually Omni and Flipper, they're usually pretty good for most robots. They tend to work quite well. They do what you want them to do. But remember, this is only the most basic AI tutorial here. So we've got Duncan Tukin in the now as Omni. So that means the axes should work. And you can look at all these things as well. Radius, top speed, 99, throttle, blah, 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 blah. Weapons, one, two, three, four. Now, a lot of the times you can just do it by trial and error, which is what I'll do now. Sometimes you'll have to you'll have to consider what sort of robot you have. The range usually means if it's like a if it's like a spinner or something or well yeah usually how much you want your weapon to spin because if you've got a large range then the the weapon will spin a lot more. But again, you can do a lot of this by trial and error. If you're confused and your robot doesn't seem to work and but you've you know of a similar robot with a similar style, for instance, if um, Jericho down here wasn't working properly, it wasn't flipping properly, then come back here and find a robot whose AI does work properly, that's also a flipper, and copy it over. Then make little adjustments here and there, and most of the time it will work. Again, trial and error is the best way to do something. If it works fine in the game like you want it to work, then it's fine. No need to be uh, too anal about it. So, Number 31. Duncan Tukin is in there, and hopefully I've bored you enough with that, so I'll click save. Remember to click save, and go back and test your robot. And hopefully it will work. Let's see how well it does. I've probably messed it up immensely. Oh, and there's one more thing as well um, that I'll go over in a sec, but just after this. So we'll go into a battle royale. We'll just do a quick test in the ring arena. And I think it's down here somewhere. Is it down here somewhere? There's Duncan Tukin. So we'll put Duncan against Null Suit. Uh, Faithful Bicycle. And, yeah, RDM. So let's see if it works. It's over here. And it's slowly creeping towards the opposition. It's quite slow. I mean, that's something you can try to adjust in the robot or trial and error. I didn't give it that great battery power or control. But there we go, the weapon's firing. And it's now causing havoc on the opposition. It's not the, the, the best robot I've ever made. But then, look, it's taking parts off the others, though. So that's a working robot. And if you're not happy the way it works, just mess around with it a bit more. If you want to send me a robot in Bantam Wars, just send it to me. And I'll AI it and make sure it's in good working order. So there we go, Duncan Tukin. Losing a weapon. <laughs> That's because uh, RDM's a pretty good robot. Anyway, I'll show you that last thing before I go. Go back to bindings. I don't know why I've got two up. I'll get rid of one of them. <clears throat> this thing here, nose math pie. Oh, also, invertible true. Remember that, if you want your robot to be invertible, you need to put invertible true. Or if your robot isn't invertible and you want it to try self-writing, take invertible true out. Okay, so you need to make sure that invertible true is either there if it needs to be, or it's not there if you don't want if if, if it doesn't need to be. Okay, remember that bit. This bit, nose math pi. The way you build your robot, it might end up back to front when it starts. If your robot, if you've just AI AI'd your robot and you click start game and your robot's facing the wrong way, that's because you need to change this. If when you're building your robot, it's facing the correct way you don't need to put anything like lasers and everything here it just automatically goes in the right direction but if it's facing for instance the exact opposite way if it's facing backwards put nose math pi in if it's facing to the left i believe it is we've got an example up here nose math pi asterisk three over two and what was the other one again uh i think it's over two is it nose math pi over two? Yeah, there we go. So that should be right. Nose math pi slash two. That's, well, <laughs> assuming you followed this tutorial correctly and I haven't been a total Birkin 
dishing it out to you, then it all should be fine. If you have any questions about AIing or band tours in general, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to help you out. Thank you very much for watching and have fun AIing your robots. Talk soon. <laughs>